Another reason you'd be have to be freaking insane to drink or eat anything out of a container that is lined with bisphenol A. A study came out from the American Heart Association published in the Journal of Hypertension published this December 2014. And this is not the death knell for BPA. I don't know what it is because the government just doesn't seem to be caring too much about any of this. But you'll get a kick out of this one. You ready? Here we go. In a research article entitled Exposure to Bisphenol A from Drinking Cam Beverage Increases Blood Pressure Randomized Crossover Trial, published obviously, as I said, this December 2014 in the American Heart Association's Journal of Hypertension. This is what the study did. In this study, researchers conducted a randomized crossover trial recruiting 60 adults, mostly Korean women, over the age of 60 from a local community center. Each trial member visited the study site three times and was randomly provided with soy milk, either in a glass bottle or a can. Can obviously allowing the BPA, the glass bottle not. It says later, urine was collected and tested for BPA concentrations, blood pressure, heart rate variability, just two hours after consuming. Keep that in your mind. We're not talking about people drinking BPA over a long period of time, over like a month, two months, a year, and some of you probably your entire life. We're just talking two hours. You ready? And this is the results. Yeah, the blood pressure went up, but however, this is even more interesting. Urinary BPA concentration increased by up to 1,600% just two hours after drinking from a BPA lined can. 1,600%. Those people that try to tell you, oh, BPA does not leach from cans or, or plastics or foods. Remember all the bottles that were lined with BPA and all the plastics and the toys were given to kids? Uh, their data is incorrect and they need to start reading new books. It's 1,600%. And then just to top it all off, after two hours of consuming from this BPA lined can, blood pressure rose by an average of 4.5 points. Meaning, if you need to go to the doctor's office to get your blood pressure checked, better not drink from anything or eat from anything that's BPA, EPA or bisphenol A laced. They said this, systolic blood pressure adjusted for daily variance increased by 4.5 points after consuming two canned beverages compared with that after consuming two glass bottle beverages, and the difference was statistically significant. And the beverage was soy, because they know soy doesn't affect blood pressure negatively or positively in this short period of time. So, if you want to avoid BPA, the endocrine destroyer. Avoid anything lined in BPA. Not a bad option. If you don't care, then prepare to become chemically indoctrinated. Ralph Trick Channel, signing off once again.